Hi everybody, Marla here. Another one of my projects. Um, this one is a steampunk body form. First one. Seems like everything that I record is like the first one. Um, I'll try to go through it really as quick as possible. I don't know how you guys get on here and you're able to explain everything because I always seem to run out of time. On YouTube they always tell me, oh we couldn't do this video because it was too long. So anyways, um, when it started out it looked like this and this is this part right here. And um, all I did was I took and I painted the body and all that and um, put a little bit of crackle on it. Crackle didn't work. I still haven't figured out how to use a crackle yet. Um, anyways, then I had some, um, this leather that I bought. It was in strips. I'm sorry, it wasn't in strips. It was a sheet of eight by 11 and I bought it in like, you know, where you can just pick up whatever kind of paper you want in the scrapbooking department. It looked like leather and I thought, ooh, that looks pretty cool. I'm gonna be able to use that sometime. So it worked out really good for the steampunk thing. And, um, let me just explain I, I don't know really you know, where to start okay I made these flowers these are all paper flowers all handmade by me another one of my first attempts some of them I sprinkled some of that misty stuff on them to make them pretty oh my gosh look at my hands I just realized they have gooky stuff all over them well anyways what is that they say you know a clean house is an unlived house in so I guess clean hands means you're not scrapping right <laughs> So anyways, I'm not working on enough projects if your hands are clean, guys. Anyways, um, back to my little thing here, my project. So I painted this brown, I put some crackle on it, and then I took these chains and I, I chained her all up here on the leather. These little things right here are just sti uh, stick pins and I painted the ends of them gold. Put that little necklace on her, some more trim. Added a few little stick pins here that I made. Um, I'm not really good at clustering flowers. I, I, I can make them, obviously, but I've, I don't know. I have, I'm clueless in clustering. I figured that's not something I'm good at. So anyways, and then I have these cogs. I think they're called cogs. And I just added some little charms to it and hung it off of her pin there. And um, let's do the turn. Okay. Oh, I hope I'm still in frame. Okay, the turn, the turn. Let's get to the back. Okay, here's the back. I'm going to lift this up a little bit. Oh, don't look at my mess behind. I wanted you to see this part of it. Um, these things right here, it's it's a big flower. And, um, well, when I got it, it was a big flower. And then this was a, a Christmas ornament. Forget about that part of it because that wasn't on it. But anyways, this was a Christmas ornament. And I got these two, two things separate, obviously, um, back in the Christmas department. And um, this right here, this was an earring. Yep. Yep, an earring. And uh, I, like I said before, I'm notorious for getting stuff and just tearing it apart and doing something else with it. So um, this actually had two pieces to it and I tore it apart and it had like, it, the glue took off some of the stuff so I had to put something over the top of that. So I thought, hey, this is perfect. So I used that on it. Another, just a little piece I had hanging around the house. Oh, let's see, what did I do here? Let me back this, back this up some. Mm. <laughs> I'm not getting the whole picture in here, am I? Not doing a good job here. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's better. Okay, let me get the dress form out of the way. So, anyways, um, I guess it would be better if I just lifted this up. Another paper flower that I made. And how I made these paper flowers was I just took those washable markers. Well, at first I took the Tim Holtz tattered flower die cut and I cut out a bunch of them and then I took the um, washable ink marker thingies and I just colored the sides of it and um, wet it sprayed it and crinkled it all up in a ball and then took my hot glue gun I'm, I'm uh, not my hot glue gun my um, oh what is that called my heat gun and then I dried them and um, you know of course and then I uncrinkled them and glued them all together and that's what I came up with so they turned out pretty good and um, anyways let's see what else oh my stick pins I made my I made three stick pins and I stuck them in there so can you see those let's see all the stick pins I guess I didn't do too bad in the clustering hmm. oh well you know we never give ourselves enough credit for anything I don't think but I love this dress form. 
I'm like one of those kind of people that, you know, if I don't absolutely love something, I can't give it away. And then, but then there's a catch side to that too, because if you really, really love it, you don't want to give it away. So anyways, um, I made a dress form prior to this one because I thought that a dress form was just like a flat piece of um, chipboard cut out and then, um, you know, you decorate it up. So I just took my very first, 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 first one that I made. Um, I know I said this was my first one, so I should say this is my first body form that I made. Um, but my first actual one attempt at it was just um, a plain plain chipboard. And so what I got, I got glue all in my wedding rings. Um, anyways, uh, so I, I drew out a dress and all that kind of stuff and I cut it out and everything and I put it together and I, I did it and it turned out okay, but you know, it was okay. I wasn't in love with it and I have to love it. So anyways, I found the, these body forms. I'd been looking all over for them. I couldn't find them anywhere. And it just so happened the other day, um, Michael's got a shipment in. I mean, $7.99 for these puppies. But if you have a 40% coupon, it's no biggie. Um, so anyways, I chucked the other one and I started on this one last night. And this is my end result. And I worked like crazy on it and put it all together. And I just absolutely love the way that it turned out. So I'm very, very happy with it. And um, some lucky person's actually getting this. Because <laughs> it's in a, it's a part of a swap that I'm in. Um, we were supposed to make three dress forms. And this is the first dress form. And then I have the other two dress forms that I probably um, will get out later. <laughs> Because I actually, what I did, okay, I'll be honest. What I did was I had made those flat dress form things, right? And I, I made them all up, packaged them all up, labeled them, all that kind of stuff. And I just wasn't happy. You know, I just thought, oh gosh, if I'm not happy, how's the person that's getting it going to be happy? So I just went on a massive hunt for these things after I realized this is actually what a, a, a dress form is. And when I found it, I went, you know what, I'm not sending her those. Uh, so I opened that package up, took them out of there, chucked them. And so this is what she's going to get. And um, the other there, the other two I really did like, though, that I made. So um, I'm going to go ahead and send those along with this one. And um, we'll just kind of see how it goes from, from that point on. But I'm sure she'll like it. So, okay, well, thanks for watching. And... Um, We'll talk to you later. Keep on, keep on watching. Bye.